You literally idiots, you can't handle him with you empty suits of armor. <laughs> Wait, what? Quickly, you worms, if you keep dawdling, I'll throw you into the furnace of the gray garrison. Hmm, a left grunts in wordless terror and desperately fights the flames. Every, every so often, he sends murderous looks at this, asso at, this at his associates, whom he has al clearly already condemned to death. You blithering idiots, you can't land on them with you empty suits of armor. You watch in satisfaction as Chelev and his two lackeys rush to put out the alchemist's fire. Their armor becomes covered in soot and welt, uh, welt rise their skin from the flames, succumbing to another strange heretical impulse. You chippy them along with barked orders and a floored invective. Uh, hmm, whoever doesn't pull his weight is a dead man. I'll take the other two and off him its forces. With a weary look in your direction, Chelab abandons his own attempts to quell the flames and turns his focus to the thumping and kicking his subordinates to hurry them along. The method proves surprisingly effective, and the flames begin to dwindle. Report! Who are you? Uh, Chelab uh, <laughs> Chelab says, uh, says a whole former knight of the order ever bright crusaders deserter uh, these two are my mates from playing ca uh, uh, playing cards local fences for stolen goods reliable men we set an ambush and caught three no four crusaders we wish to join the ranks of the triumphant army of the world War. good lads brave fighters we could do with more like you in the cultist ranks then our victory would be assured thank you i do i, I do my best i must admit that the rationality of this individual should be questioned and subject to thorough uh, uh, subjected to thorough study for the purpose of establishing the existence of said rationality. Uh, <laughs> Chelab is a crusader name. Are you a crusader? I hereby give you a name worthy of a demon. Pal Snout. <laughs> uh, biting his lip, the bulk of the proudly thrusts his chest. Thank you, sir. <laughs> gonna love playing trickster when I get to it. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, Faust now furls his proud and a display of menace, trying to show his brutal determination to take on all the Crusader forces uh, put together. Uh, listen to your gut. Stop wasting valuable, uh, valuable fuel. If you like burning books, go rig the Grey Garrison Library. Our enemies might try to sneak in there. Step, uh, step to it. If there's plenty more where that came from, sir. I'll do everything that we've ordered. <laughs> you've ordered. And just as soon as those crusaders arrive, uh, they'll, uh, they'll be dead meat. I'll go make sure that we get another. No, make it another two barrels of alchemist fire from the Grey Garrison storeroom. Things are going to burn right up in here. Storyteller, you have... Oh, it has been so long. A blind elf stands before you who looks extremely strange. His face wears its... its uh, wears its years heavily, uh, which is unusual for members of his race. Thin, uh, thinning gray hair, a ragged beard, sightless, milky eyes, pale paper, mm, papery skin covered in aged spots. A spine curved by the passage of time. This is not how elves typically age. The youth... Mm, uh, that grace the faces of elves even on their deathbed has totally abandoned this uh, decrepit specimen. Oh my god, I'm gonna... Oh, oh, I'm gonna love playing Trickster when I get to that route. I think that'll be end up being... I think that'll be our third run when we do it. This is an elf with a beard. I guess the worst can be found even amongst the best. A bearded elf? A bearded elf? How very intriguing. If you please, I would like to... Pluck out a hair of that phenomenal manifesting uh, phenomenon manifesting on your chin in the interest of science, of course. For science! Hello, I am Storyteller. I wish to thank my rescuers. That is, that is you, if I am not mistaken. Who are you? I prefer people to call me Storyteller. If it very accurately describes the sphere of my occupations and interests. In most of the places I have been, I am known by that name. When I was little, my mother and father used to tell me stories, but I have no one to tell me stories now. Sometimes Grandma does in my dreams, but I always forget them in the morning. 
Can you tell me a story? But for you, I may have to uh, I may have a story to tell. But perhaps it is you who has a story for me. How come you didn't burn in the fire? To tell the truth, I myself did not know. I felt the heat. It was so strong. I waited for the pain, the burning, but I was unscathed, but the smoke nearly did finish me off. It may be some form of magical protection against fire, but I don't know what don't know by what means I may have acquired it. Just another oddity for my collection of inexplicable. Gloom steals across the storyteller's pensive face. I want to talk to you about something. And thanks for my rescue. I, of course, will render your, you a service in turn, whatever it may be. However, at this moment, I wish to be some more safer than the present surroundings. My recent adventures have fatigued me greatly. I would be grateful if you could help me to uh, yeah, help me to a safe shelter of some kind. We cannot help him. If it wasn't up, if it was up to me, my grandfather elf, I throw you over my shoulder and carry you out of here. This is no place for old folks. I'm taking you to the Fender's heart. And please accept my sincere thanks once again. And if I may. Please don't rush. I will struggle to keep up. Mm, I will struggle to keep up with your legs. Is that a trap? Here we go. Full plate. Oh God. What do we have here? Arcana. A success worthy of praise. <laughs> Some monstrously large demonic blade fell upon the library, splitting the runes in two and leaving an enormous black scar. It is possible that Daskari himself was the one who destroyed the building. Gotcha. Added armor of focus. Padded armor grants us where plus two con con bonus on concentration checks. Oh. from me. That it? Oh no! There is another. There, there are other rooms here.
Let's see what we can do. At least I think so. Be able to do that. We may not be able to get in there. Grab all the loot first, all the books, and then we'll get going. All right, there we go. I guess we talk to the storyteller now. Continue main quest. Nice. What a bunch of freaking roots. Is that you, my, my savior? I recognize your footsteps. Determined footsteps be fitting of a determined person. Allow me to thank you again for saving me. Please accept this humble gift as a token of my appreciation. Storyteller's ring. Right, Arabeth has explained why you were looking for me. I warned the authorities of Canabras that the local warstone had been desecrated. They have waved off my warning and paid for the and, mm, paid for their inaction. I have examined many warstones, but only in the one uh, guarding Canabras did I sense a flaw, a spot of corruption inside, a vulnerability that the demons will surely use. Mm, they are able to spread the blight inside the warstone, corrupt it, and make it their weapon. Reminds me to think that three think what it will become of uh, the wardstone must be destroyed. Who are you, and why did they let you examine the wardstone? I am the storyteller, just an, just an odd elf, and a bit more. I am old even for an elf. I've seen many things, and I have been to many places. Not so long ago, I witnessed the making of a young kingdom in the stolen lands. Guys, led by a remarkable and promising individual. My advice on the complicated matter of conquering those lands provided is useful to that leader. Wow. And this is not uncommon for me. Some seek my advice for services and I don't refuse. This is how I require my reputation as an old vagrant who's never hurt anyone. They get out of other squabbles, but sometimes have gave good advice. I had a few friends in Nerosian who vouched for my integrity. This is why my humble request to be allowed to see the Wardstone was granted. I visited all of them, but only found cause for alarm in Canabras. Hmm, do you wield some special magical, magic power? Some instinct? Yes, uh, to a certain extent. But it is more of a gift. I can see the past. Stories that have happened, I touch an object and sheds of its owners. Yep. What blight is concealed in the Wardstone? I am afraid I don't have the answer to your question. To understand the nature of this blight, we need to understand how the Warstone was created, and it has and it is hidden from me. I can only guess. Hmm, have you heard of the Red Morning Massacre? A dreadful morning remembering with fear even by those not yet born at the time. A demon has called him, and Nago invaded the city with a crowd of our followers and started to do what demons do best: kill and mass and kill and desecrate. They say they covered the warstone with pieces of bo uh, dead bodies, splashed with it, uh, splashed it with blood from top to bottom. Could such an abomination, abomination darken the radiance of a grip of Ayamade herself? The locals think this is impossible, but who knows? That attack were rebuffed, but they still reached their target. I think this is when the seed of corruption was planted in the stone. It wouldn't have uh, would have grown on its own, but Descari himself 
uh, has now come to take advantage of this week to open the abscess mm, that has been festering for years, unnoticed by the people of Canabras. And and when the demon lord struck the below, uh, the, weak, uh, the weakened stone gave in. Now it's in the demon's hands. Nothing is stopping them from spreading the blight throughout the entire stone. And from it to the other stones along the whole perimeter of the world wound. Why did you travel to the ward stones? I tried to see their stories. The visions I had, uh, the visions I had when I touched the ward stones were unclear. I saw hundreds, maybe thousands of different stories at the same time. They allowed, and they followed each other like flashes of lightning. It was impossible to separate them. I couldn't understand where where one of them ended and the next began. I have, mm, I have heard of you, storyteller. In that case, you must make every possible effort to destroy the corruption. Oh, I, I have heard you. Not heard of you. I have heard you. Unfortunately, I don't know where to get an instrument powerful enough to banish it from the Wardstone. As far as I know, there's nothing like an Acrombrus. But the demons might have something. <clears throat> uh, I heard the dying roar of Tarandalev, the silver dragon, the protector of the city. At the time... I felt a wave of unfamiliar, um, unfamiliar power sweep over me from head to toe. I would advise you to go to where Torrentalev perished and search there for something. Sorry I can't be more specific, but intuition and a strange sense of rightness mm, tell me to point you there. I found it. You know, present the purple stone knife. I found it in the square where Torrentalev perished. What do you make of it? The storyteller reaches out and says softly, even from where I can feel strange energies emanating from this, even from here, I can feel strange energies emanating from this object. If you don't mind, I will examine it using my method. I will try to see the past of its owner, their emotions, and shreds of their memories. Maybe it'll help us better understand what we are dealing with. The storyteller touches the knife, his fingers clamping around the hilt of the hungry, masterful grip. Well, with a hungry, masterful grip, his face con uh, contorts into an evil grimace, his voice distinguishedly raspy. Hunger. My many legs bring me into the lair to my mother's fe mm, feasting hall. Her swollen body overfilled with food so uh, food is so huge that, ha that I have that I have to look at it with all of my eyes at once. On top is her scrawny little head with a long beak that is always yearning for more food. You feel feverish in your chest where the, uh, where the mysterious wound is concealed. It feels hot, your mind is flooding with a wave of visions. Visions that repeat the words of the old elf. Mother, uh, mother greets me. Wow, but did I just get hurt or something? Mother greets me with a placid screech. Stupid, greedy wretch whose only achievement is my birth. A creeping, wingless creature. It's your fault I have no wings. A symbol of greatness. Birthright I should have received from my mighty father. Mother, po Mother points me to a crowd of whimpering subjects, uh, suggesting I fortify myself with their pathetic flesh. Not today. I summon my spawn and they fly to me, enveloping me in a teeming cloud. Like dark buzzing wings, they unfolded behind my back and lifted me up. Mother has always been stronger, but she did not expect this. I dive on her and rip her limp. Mm, a limp, bloated body with my claws. Acre splatters, the bone spurs on my heels and sink into her flesh. I clench her pitifully, tiny, mm, pitiful tiny head and tear it off along with the shreds of meat. Victory. I am the strongest. I am the son of my winged father. Falling. Stories like that are the most difficult ones to keep with me. Did this knife belong to a demon? You know, the storyteller opens his mouth to answer, but a sudden spasm crosses his face. A new vision, a much stronger one, engulfs the old elf. The malevolent undertones vanish from his voice as it grows more determined and tired. Even looking at the war stone is difficult. Despite the corruption nesting in it, it still has an aura of strength. Your fingers clench the hilt so, t uh, so tight it hurts. Welcome! 
Hey, thank you for that follow, Haas. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Uh, even look. Okay, so uh, um, do, 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 a little spot on the flawless surface of the wardstone draws your attention. It looks like a butterfly. Corruption in the guise of something utterly harmless, but it will grow. You swing and stab the butterfly with, it, um, with the knife as hard as you can. Your fingers cramp painfully. A howl invades your ears. Light. White light everywhere. The stone knife falls from the old elf's hands. Out of breath, he drops to his knees. He's trembling, the terror on his face so unlike mm, his usual dignified manner. What was that? That was not the past. That was something that is yet to happen. Or rather, might happen. One of the roads to the future, and one of the possible futures. This item will help you to cleanse the wardstone or destroy it. You feel, a lo uh, you feel a longing to take the stone chisel and plunge it into your chest, right into the wound that has opened up in it. It is hard to resist this feeling, but at the last moment, your, your self-preservation uh, uh, preservation instinct takes over, and you manage to keep control over your own hands. The old man stands up. He looks completely stunned. Never before has anything like this happened to me. How? I am not an oracle or a prophet, or is this another riddle from the past that has caught up with me? I must find out. Seeing stories that have happened is one thing, but seeing stories that are yet to happen. I don't know why this is happening now, but there is one thing I'm sure of. This is not a coincidence. This is a sign of coming changes, great changes. I shared your vision, and this knife tempted me. Did you see what I saw? This has never happened before. Okay. Now, could it be the magic of the ma uh, object that you brought me? I sense dark energies in it that can cloud and harm the mind. Be careful with, mm, with this item. It may have tried to influence you, but you managed to overcome its power and subdue it. Or perhaps something else has happened to it. Something we don't yet understand. You see the future. I... I don't know. Obviously, I can. But nothing like this has ever happened to me before. The future never opened its secrets to me before. I met... Uh, before I met you. Gods, who are you and why have our paths crossed? I feel this is not a coincidence. Something momentous is happening. Destiny is pushing us towards something. But what? Questions without answers. I swear, this morning I couldn't have imagined what awaited me. Maybe it's the knife that gives you the power of divination? Uh, this knife is a powerful artifact, but I feel that its power is of a different nature. No. I felt the same as I do when I tell the past. This is my gift, but, ma but manifested in a completely abnormal way. Is what you saw destined to happen? No, the future is not set. It used to be a long time ago when the god Oridon assigned to you raised the wardstone from the bottom of the inner sea. Okay. Uh, uh, guarded Galarian, but not now. Prophecies do not come true, or they do, but not the way they were supposed to. I only saw one version of the future, one of the past leading to it, but the choice was not, mm, has not been made, and our destinies are not set in stone. Were you in your vision? I don't know. Someone, is someone strong and desperate enough to resort to extreme measures? I felt that what I was doing had to be done. Your powers are amazing. Wow. A few minutes ago, I would have no would have agreed with you. Uh, but the thing that has just happened it disturbs me. My gift has never manifested like this. Something has changed. And these changes frighten me. Uh, please examine the items I am carrying. Let me touch them. I will tell you what I can see. Powerful forces lie dormant in this sword. It used to be along to an incredibly bright and daring soul. 
Storyteller's hand runs carefully over the scale that has still not lost its shine. Proud Terendaluk, protective mm, protector of Canabras. You devoted your life to serving people. Your death is a great loss, but maybe I will be able to find out something about you that is unknown to you, you your many admirers. Uh, opinion. What a peculiar weapon. I sense intelligence in it, but it seems dented. Dented? <laughs> Grandpa Elf, watch where you're poking your fingers. It tickles. The elf looks at you with unusual impatience. Shall we? Uh, present Radius. What do you see in its past? And Dresden is doomed. Demons attacked right when we lost the protection of the Sword of Valor. My city, my bastion of hope. We built, mm, we built you as a symbol of the lands mutilated by the abyss, mm, and by the abyss could still be restored to mortals. Now you are perishing, and there is nothing I can do. We retreat. No, we flee. A frightened crowd rushes out into the night through the southern gate. They are chased by the angry howls of demons, killing the last defenders of the citadel. My heart goes out to them, but I am standing still on the wall. I am covering the retreat. Demons do not attack. They seethe around you, fall from the sky, strike from all sides at once. They can't be stopped, but they can be distracted. I run to the upper floor of the gate tower. Radiance glows with a golden light in my hands. I permit myself to close my eyes for just one heartbeat. I imagine that the soft glimmering of the sword I see through my closed eyelids is the light of the summer sun. Smile. I open my eyes and call out, Hey, Tiskari's spawn. Who wants the best trophy of the night? You know my name, Yaniel. You know how many of you I have killed with this very hand. You want to curry favor with, uh, with Durazond and not Nago or the echo of your lord? Bring them my head if you can. A roaring and screaming, the uh, they rush toward me in a wave of deformed bodies and unfurled wings. The wave crashes against me, spattering my armor with blood and froth. The broken wings and chopped up bodies plummet to the floor uh, a foot of the tower. In the heat of battle, I see Joran's pale face down there. He looks up at me in desperation, but he can't help. He's carrying two wounded on his shoulders. My city will fall, but my friends will survive. This is what I am fighting for. I am covering the retreat. Wow. Uh, the flow of fleeing people gradually dwindles. My armor is broken in many places and I cannot heal my wounds anymore. The last demon I stabbed with Radiance suddenly, rec suddenly recoils, tearing the handle out of my bloody, mm, slickened hand. He flies up, but falls somewhere far beyond the walls by the road being taken by those fleeing. No more golden glow in my hands. The night closes in on me, filled with shrieking, mocking demon laughter. Mm, Dresden, I am dying with you. The light of the sword, righteous Iomide, sept my soul. I know whose memory this is. I've heard about her so many times. Yaniel was a true crusader. Touching her memories is so cleansing. Do you see the future of this sword? Just one of the numerous possibilities. I slide out of the sheath swiftly. I proudly watch the warrior, you know, the army of warriors led by my lord. I sing, slashing the air, putting courage in their hearts. I am Radiance. Fremble, city of Dresden, my lady Yaniel has perished. But I, I am not done yet. Charge. My swords. <laughs> it's nice to know that the sword's glory days are not over. Has many battles ahead. Take care of it. It's a glorious sword. Tell me about Trendelev. I am flying. I can finally spread my wings. I'm gliding over a broad river. The sunset has turned its surf a surface smooth like a mirror, and I see my reflection. It is as if. Another silver dragon is rising to meet me from the depths. But what is it? The scales on my chest are black. The darkness is spreading over my body. I wake up. A clear sky waves above me, blazing with heat. I am in human form. The red dust of the cloud clings to my cracked lips. Someone is carrying me on a stretcher made of shields and spears. I am so weak, I can barely lift my hand to my face. And the sight of my own hand terrifies me. It is black and the skin glistens like scales melted by fire. 
and probably ought, ought, mm, ought to I probably ought to cry, but I only feel hatred and nausea. All these people around me, out of sympathy for their mm, for them, did I choose to leave the mountain. I gave up my flights over rivers. I went to the demon's lair. They don't have a scratch on them. But I am infected with foulness. It's not fair. My life is more precious than their pathetic existence. Oh, wow, I hate them in this moment. And then I suddenly feel shame. No, no, these are not my thoughts. The crusaders are mm, mm, crusaders carrying me are my good friends. I am glad they did not suffer. But I hate them and myself so much. Pain and hatred pierce me all at once. It's all because of them, all because of them. Someone walking beside me touches me, talks to me. The only thing I hear is your mentor will come, will help, and I lose conscious. Such hatred from Drenalov. Wasn't she on our side? Or what happened next? Sometimes uh, sometimes the past can be as vague as the future. We all know how Drenalov's story ended, but the beginning is hidden from us. Maybe if you find something else that used to belong to her, we will know more about her struggle. So, Finian, tell me what you see. Hello, Grandpa Elf. Hello, Finian. I am coming to, uh, coming to again. How long have I been here? They kept me in the cage for three days. I know th uh, this because three times the light under the door disappeared for a long time. Then they ch then they chained me to the table and the bladesmith. Everyone calls him the bladesmith. He placed a device with a jar over me. He feels like I'm being fried. At first, I tried to break free, but I got tired. Then I screamed, but now I've lost my voice. Though the pain is burning right, uh, right through me. I think I lost consciousness again. But when I woke up, the pain was gone. And I wasn't tied to the table anymore. I was standing near it. And someone else was lying on the table. A burned corpse covered with a black crust. The master took out a handsaw and was sawing off his head in a, in a very focused way. I should have run back then, but I couldn't for some reason. This burned corpse had a symbol on his belt, just like I do. I and a star, my favorite belt, a good one. Where would a stranger get one? It must have been someone from my clan, some distant family member. Those crusaders, I I was glad when I was saw them. I thought they'd come to help, but how? How was it that I killed them all? And someone told me to, and I obeyed. I don't understand. I understand nothing now. I, I need to catch my breath. Uh, I need all this to stop, even just for a moment. I just have to. I have to understand what's happening to me. I just need to rest. That is Finian's past, but what awaits him in the future? The dead have no future. I see an endless ocean on a good day and a boat flying over the waves. I am so excited, but I don't know whose vision this is. Is this, mm, is this a soul existing here and now, or a soul reborn? Thank you. Please take care of your th mm, this young lad. He is finally on the right hand. Do not worsen his suffering by involving him in dishonorable deeds. Come on, Grandpa Elf. I, I can take care of myself. I'm not a kid. I know how... <laughs> I know... I know what horrors you were talking about. But don't you worry about it, alright? Look after yourself. Tell me of the previous owner. 